Welcome to WebStyle Press. How to import a CSV file with React.js. You can import and use CSV in React.js. In this tutorial, I will show you how to load CSV in React.js and display records from it. We will do it using input file field where you can upload CSV file and display records. And then we will also display records without uploading CSV file where you have CSV file in the app and you simply want to display records from it. To do that, we need a React.js app. There are many ways to create a React app. If you use create React app from your terminal, use command npx create React app and then use app name. After that, go inside app directory. We are inside app directory. I have already created a React app. Open terminal in the app directory and install a library called Papapars. Use command npm i Papapars to install this library. Papapars is a fast and reliable in-browser CSV parser for JavaScript. It is one of the parsers that correctly handles line breaks and quotations. Once you have installed Papapars, by using terminal for this project, use command npm start to start the app. And the app is running here at 3000 port. Next, we need a CSV file. I have placed a CSV file named data.csv in src folder. This is the CSV file name, age, occupation. And here is the name, age, and occupation. Like this. So now open project in code editor and let's display data from CSV file in React.js. To do that, we will need to import use state hook from React. Import papapars inside the component. Use use state hook to create a state variable data. And an associated function set data to update that state variable. Use an input file field that accepts CSV file. Use an on change attribute that is an event listener. It will be triggered when the user selects a file. Set the event listener to call a function named handle file upload when a file is selected. This function should be defined in component to handle the file upload logic. That logic will pass the CSV data and store it in the component state. This is the handle file upload function that takes an event object E as an argument. This event object is automatically passed by the onChange event listener of the file input element when a file is selected by the user. The eTarget files property is a file list object that contains information about the selected files. The file input element allows the user to select one file. So the first file in the list is accessed using e.target.files0. Call papaparse function from the papaparse library to parse the selected CSV file. This function takes two arguments. The file to parse and an option object to configure the parsing process. Set header option to true to indicate that the first row of the CSV file contains header information. The resulting parsed data will be an array of objects with keys corresponding to the headers. Execute complete callback function when the parsing is completed successfully. The function takes a single argument results which contains the parsed data. Store parse data in the data state variable using the set data function. After this function is executed, the parse data from the CSV file is available in the data state variable, which can be used to render the data in the component. Use a conditional rendering expression in React JSX. It will check whether the length of the data array is greater than zero, meaning there is data to display. If the condition is true, it means we have the data. It will render the content inside the parentheses. If the condition is false, meaning no data, it will render null, which means nothing will be displayed. Inside parentheses, where data should be displayed, 
let's use a table. This is the table head with name, age and occupation and this is table body. Use the map function to iterate over the elements in the data array and generate JSX elements for each element. Generate elements for each raw of data. Map function is being called on data array. It takes a callback function as an argument and applies this callback function to each element in the array. The callback function takes two arguments, the current element being processed that is raw and its index in the data array. Create a table raw element for each raw in the data array. The key attribute is set to the raw's index. This key is a unique identifier. Render each property of the raw object in a table cell element. So data.map raw, raw.name, raw.age, raw.occupation. Name, age, occupation. Save the code. Now we have the input file field. Provide CSV file. And we have the data from CSV file in React.js. This is working. It requires a file input field to process CSV data. How about displaying records without file field? To do that, I will comment the file field, file field element, and file field handler. That is the handle file upload function. I'll comment these. Then I will import use effect from React. And I will import data.csv file and name it data. And now let's use use effect function. Inside use effect function, I defined an asynchronous function called fetch data. This function will contain the logic for fetching data and storing it in state asynchronously. After that, I will invoke fetched data function immediately. In logic, I will use await. Async await will make it an asynchronous function. It will run without blocking the main thread, allowing the component to continue rendering while the data is being fetched. Fetch the data from data source that is CSV file. Data is coming from this file. Using the fetch method, it will return a promise that resolves to the response object. Use await keyword for the promise to resolve. Create a readable stream from the fetched response body. A readable stream allows you to read chunks of data from a source. Read a chunk of data from the readable stream. Use await keyword to wait for the data to be read. Create a new text decoder instance which is used to decode the fetched binary data into a string. Set the decoding to use the UTF-8 character set encoding. Use the decode method of the text decoder instance to convert the binary data into a string and store it in a variable, CSV data. Use the parse method from the Papa parse library to parse the CSV data into a JSON object. The options provided in the second argument of the parse method indicate that the CSV data contains a header raw and that empty lines should be skipped. Call the set data function with the parsed JSON data as its argument. Set the state with the parsed CSV data. Once we have the data in state, rest of the code is using same state to fetch the data from state using map method and displays the records. Reload and it's working. And you see I have commented input file and this function. 
So now we are directly importing data.csv file and using it here. Then data is stored in state and is consumed here. So keep in mind that this example assumes the CSV file has a header raw with column names that we have used, name, age, and occupation. If your CSV file does not have a header raw, you can set header to false in Papa Bar's options and access the raw data using array indices instead of column names. Also make sure you adjust column names in code according to your CSV file. Okay, so that is how we can display records from a CSV file in React.js. I have also created a tutorial on how to display records from a JSON file in React.js. I will link that tutorial in description and I will provide the code link in description as well. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.